Hey everybody, hey, thanks for checking out my video. Uh, just sitting here in my car. Um, and really quick, just wanted to talk about a few things about um, motivation, about starting your own business, believing in yourself. Now, a little bit uh, about me. Uh, I was in the Coast Guard for a while. Um, it was not an ending that I had wanted. Uh, it was actually an ending of failure. And um, I got kicked out of the military, and here I am um, out of the Coast Guard trying to start my own business. Now, I believe that everything happens for a reason, okay? Everything happens for a reason. Right now, at this point in my life, I don't know why it happened, but I know why it happened. Because, you know, there's this passion inside my heart okay that other people don't understand and that's really what I want to talk about um, there's a genetic difference I've heard it talked about on YouTube and there's a few people that I'd like to uh, you know talk about that have inspired me personally but uh, you know right now I'm trying to start an internet business uh, a coupon site and it's just me and very little to no money and you know um, not a lot of people that believe in me and this isn't a woe is me, but like literally I'm finding out that usually the people that should be the most supportive aren't. And I find that to be very challenging. Um, but, you know, in those moments, let me just give you some advice. Even though I'm not a successful entrepreneur, I haven't finished my business. And right now, you know, I, I get discouraged all the time. Right now I'm discouraged. I haven't made any sales today. I'm not a salesman by nature. But I have this genetic gift as an entrepreneur that I know I have to use. Um, like I said, everything happens for a reason. But, um, you know, usually the people that, that should believe in you most don't believe in you. Like your mom, your dad, your friends. Um, some A lot of people don't care. Uh, me, I'm very passionate. People are like, hey, why are you so passionate about this coupon thing? Like... You're not even making real money yet. Like, you can't even, you know, support yourself. And, yeah, you know what? Most people would be like, okay, yeah, you know what? This isn't working. But um, three things that I've really um, stumbled upon that I've learned uh, throughout these these months of just trying um, are three traits um, that I believe are essential or, uh, you know, at least necessary to develop to be a good uh successful entrepreneur that's instinct courage and perseverance instinct that right there I naturally have that um, God given talent and I believe in the Lord and I believe that it is a God gift uh, a God given talent to have the entrepreneurial spirit and the courage but instinct I you know I it's just I can't explain it if you're an entrepreneur you know what I'm talking about you either got it or you don't. You have this instinct on what decisions and this creative mind. And that's kind of the person I've always been. Like, I'm not like other people. I always have these crazy ideas. And I know there's a lot of people out there. But the next one after instinct, you can have all the instincts in the world. But if you don't have courage, um, which is the next trait, then it doesn't mean anything. Because you can have, you know, instinct or vision, whatever you want to call it but not have the courage to see it through and to, to fight against all the negativity that you're getting from your friends or from the pressures from the outside world. Um, people are going to say they got your back, but they don't have your back. Okay, you have to have the courage. At the end of the day, nobody cares. Remember that. Nobody cares. It's up to you to get it done. you probably heard that a million times. If you're an entrepreneur, you know what I'm talking about. But at the end of the day, nobody cares. Um... It's up to you. So you have to have the courage, even when it, things don't seem right. Now you have to use common sense, but um, that leads to perseverance. And then perseverance is very important. That's the one I struggle with as an entrepreneur, trying to get my feet off the ground. Is hey, I got no money. You know, I, I'm always co consistently trying to develop connections because I don't really have any resources. But at the same time, I don't want that to be an excuse. So. Um, you have to persevere. You have to keep moving forward. Even like, for example, my coupon site, when I feel like, okay, I have no money. Everybody thinks I'm a loser. I have this great idea. How am I going to make it happen? Well, what I do is I say, you know what? I just 
do something little every day and as long as I can keep moving forward, uh, I'll be okay. And, and then I'll get the breakthrough. And sometimes it's just that one little thing, despite what you may think, like, okay, this is going nowhere. I'm just going to give up. Just keep trying. And eventually you'll get one little breakthrough. You'll maybe hand your business card to the right person or, you know, put it on whatever the case may be. Just got to keep moving. Okay. You got to fight the good fight. Now, few people that have really inspired me, sometimes I go on YouTube and I watch videos like this, so I want to inspire you guys to not give up because I'm going through that now. You know, I don't have money, I need investors, but I don't want to get investors, so I don't, you know, it, it's just a struggle. But the thing is, is that few people that have really inspired me online, um, Gurbash Shahal, G. Shahal from, uh, you know, he started Click Agents. Um, and then he started Blue Lithium, and now he has G Wallet and Radium One. And G is, and I, I'm not endorsing for him. I don't even know him, but the guy is just truly inspirational, and he's a badass. And that's who I want to be. I want to be like like G, that's just started with nothing, believed in a dream, and said failure is not an option. G, if you're watching this video, you're probably not, but I took a lot from that. Failure is not an option. And even though I don't see the end in sight. That really inspires me. Whenever I get low in the dumps, you know, if you're on the other end of that that computer screen or that TV screen, remember, failure is not an option. If you want it bad enough, it's going to happen. Even if you have to lie to yourself, you have to have the vision. No matter what people are going to tell you, okay? But you got to work for it. You can't just hope it. You know, you have to work hard for it and um, and persevere. So, a Gurbash Shahal, um, very inspirational. Dude, you're the man. Um, and another video that I really recommend you you check it out. I think it's one of the greatest motivational speeches that really touched my heart and spoke to me. That from time to time I go on YouTube and watch. It's Les Brown. Type in Les Brown. L E S Brown. One out of six, and there's six total videos. But uh, he just really he really talks about you know believing in yourself and. You know, there's a genetic difference, and um, don't ever settle. You know, I, I, I know I was born to do this, and um, and even though I can't see the end of the rainbow, I just know. I know that, you know, God created me to use this gift, and I think he created you to use your gift, and I want to encourage you. And uh, please leave a comment in the box, and, uh, you know, hopefully we can do more videos in the future, but just don't ever give up. Um, keep moving forward. Rely on your instinct. No matter what, rely on your instinct because it's usually right. Have the courage okay, to stand up for yourself no matter who doesn't believe in you. People, like I said, remember, people don't care. okay. They're going to care when you succeed, but right now they don't care okay, because they don't understand. Okay? It doesn't matter where you came from. If you came from a road of failure, then that's what you hold on to. Um, Frank Sinatra said, um, the greatest revenge is massive success. And to me, it's not only, it's not just about revenge. I'm not out to get revenge, but I'm out to prove people wrong that people are like, oh yeah, you're doing that. Okay, cool. Great. Like you got a new idea every week. Well, this idea is going to stick and I'm going to see it through and failure is not an option. And it shouldn't be for you either. So, hey, thanks for checking out the video. Uh, like I said, please leave comments. Um, I wish you guys the best of luck. And hopefully we'll do another video soon. All right. Thanks, guys. See ya.